What's going on guys? We're back with ERB tier list of every single rap battle part two. We decided to cut the last one off at about an hour and a half because that is a really long video. That's the length of a feature film. <laughs> so we decided to go ahead and make this two parts. So let's go ahead and just jump right back into it with Frederick Douglass versus Thomas Jefferson. What did you think about this one? Yeah, it's uh so I remember when I first watched it, I I was not into it, but after rewatching it, it's a little bit better. But overall I really don't think it's that good. Um, like I think the beat is pretty good on this one. Like it, it sounds very presidential, and like I think it fits really well. Yeah. Um, but man, like Thomas Jefferson's verses were just kind of whack. <laughs> like his first one, he's just talking about himself the whole time. He's literally mm -hmm. just listing off his accomplishments, which yep. <laughs> I mean sounds good in theory because you're flexing. But I mean it's he doesn't say anything about Frederick Douglass. So it doesn't really feel like a battle rap. Um, yeah. And then his second verse, he's literally just like apologizing for being racist, and he ends it with like, "So we cool?" And it's like, "What? <laughs> like, what kind of rap <laughs> battle is this?" Um, so when you, especially when you compare it to like the Julius Caesar approach, it's like just wow, it is not very mm -hmm. good. Um, yeah, I, so. I really liked this battle for the the beat. I think the beat in this one's really excellent. Personally, mm -hmm. we after watching it over a couple times. But um, I don't know. I'm. I agree with you. It was really the, the second whole second verse was very like. He's still gloating because he's like, I did this, this, and this. I fought for Virginia, and I called it the terrible slave trade. I don't remember the exact lyrics off the top of my head, but he then does end it with like, okay, I pandered to you. We're good now, yeah. And then Frederick Douglass is like, man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly. And he just gets him out of there. So I. From a beat standpoint, I feel like this could probably be a high B, but from like the whole battle itself, it's probably a C or a D. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like low C tier. Like like yeah, Freddie had too. some good verses, he had some good lines. Like uh, you let freedom ring, but didn't answer the phone. Like I thought that one. Yeah, was that good. one was good. And there was another one too that I'm blanking on. But yeah, um, I just didn't think it yeah. was very good. I like the he was celebrating the the day the Thirteenth Amendment got ratified. I thought that one was a good line <laughs> yeah. instead of Fourth of July. That was cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think. If we're going to put it in low C, I think it is better than the Al Capone one. Yeah, I think Maybe that's a good not. place to put it. Right here, yeah. Okay, we'll put it there. All right. Austin Powers versus James Bond. One of the probably most requested for a long time there. Yeah. Uh, because of just how alike they are. One's uh, a riff on spy movies, and one is literally the spy movie genre. <laughs> um, but I love this one except for one massive glare in my opinion Austin Powers did not get nearly enough time to shine yeah yeah they did he, him dirty they really did the 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 whole um the uh the new James Bond I don't remember the exact actor's name of the James uh, actually James Bond I don't remember who the most recent one is but uh Daniel Craig Daniel Craig his this actor's portrayal of Daniel Craig is very good very top of the line the visuals during all of the all of the Daniel Craig Bond parts are really really good um I think the everything is really like nailed heavily on that on the reference standpoint. Austin Powers' his beat t turn is all groovy and super funky, and I love that every time Austin talks, it switches to that for a second and then switches back. Yeah. And then when uh, Lloyd comes in as Sean Connery, it's hilarious. It's really, 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 really good. Um, I love the uh, they call uh, they call um they call you Bond, Gold Bond, and that that <laughs> line's just hilarious to me. But um, yeah, Austin didn't get nearly enough time. He he did, he got super snubbed in this one. Yeah, I yeah I totally agree with everything you just said. I think it's super super good. I think high A tier, maybe even S tier. Um, yeah, I think high A tier for sure. The thing keeping it out of S tier is Austin's lack of uh, time. Yeah, I I just it, it's it's so good. It's so yeah. good. Just, I don't know which man. which where to put it exactly though. That's the problem. Um, I I would put it top of A tier. I think. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Man, man yeah, but <laughs> I I think the beat on this one is really good too. Um, it's like mm -hmm. super intense, and then obviously Austin's beat is like just completely not that, but it fits yeah. perfectly. All the visuals for Austin's verse is great. He's just like, yeah, <laughs> like after yeah. everything he yeah. says, um, <laughs> it's it's so great. Um, and then even behave. even the uh, at the end, like the the you decides, like that's even goes in too. Like that's kind of mm -hmm, hard because he pops up in the background. <laughs> it's so good. Um, yeah. Peter really nailed the accent in this Yeah, scene. I, it was he, surprising how good it was. Yeah, I, it was like I was watching Mike Myers for a second, other than, like, the face. It was very, very good. This is a very, very good battle. Yeah. Uh, which does <laughs> kind of uh, lead us into probably one of their biggest, biggest, biggest F-tiers. Like, this one's terrible. Yeah, 
Bruce Jenner versus uh, Bruce Banner. Bruce in concept, I like what they're trying to do, but uh, yeah. man, I think this is still their most disliked video to this day. I think I'm so. Pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, it's like it's obviously very... it's a touchy subject, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think it's really cool that they got a transgender actor to play uh, Caitlyn. Um, yeah. But man, it just the biggest it thing may... is that. Bruce, it misses uh, a lot of beats. <laughs> yeah, it misses a lot of beats, and then it's so one-sided. Like, they give Caitlyn way more time than, than mm-hmm. the other two. And there's some funny lines, you know, like, best thing you make, Kylie ass. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> just <laughs> absolutely <laughs> iconic. Uh, but it's just, mm, it just misses the mark a lot, you know? Yeah, it's, it's very, um, I'm not sure the right word I'm looking for here, but it's very, like, tone deaf. To the situation, in my opinion, not tone deaf as in like the the music. I'm not talking about the beat here. And when I said it was offbeat, I didn't mean in music sense. I meant in like a a societal standpoint sense to me. Mm-hmm. Like it, it seems very. Um, and I know they're not going for this at all. They're being very respectful to what the the topic is, but it just feels like they're not because of the matchup. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And how like comical they made the transformation from Bruce to Caitlyn. Yeah. It just it doesn't feel very like genuine in my opinion. Yeah. And I just, I don't know. This one's just not good. In fact, I, I see, the thing is, do we put it at the top of F tier because it's the worst, or do we put it at the bottom of F tier because it's the worst? Like, what is the F tier? How does this one work? <laughs> uh, well, it would it would be bottom of F tier because it's the yeah. worst. So, yeah. yeah, tough look for my guys on that yeah. one. It's all good, though. Yeah, everyone's got their, their, uh, their big mistakes and, and something. You gotta, you gotta go somewhere below to improve, yeah? Yeah. So. Which, you know, the next one after that one, I think, was a massive improvement. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Ivan the Great versus Alexander the Terrible? Did I mix those two up? Mix it up. Alexander the Great Ivan, versus Ivan the Terrible. Ivan the Terrible, yeah. But, this one, to me, is very similar to the Russians. Yeah, definitely. And But I think, I don't think it really quite nailed the Russian vibe that this one had, but was also, but it also, in its own standpoint, was excellent. Mm-hmm. One of their best battles, for sure. Oh, yeah, I think this is easily S tier, if, if mm-hmm. not A tier. But, like, everything in this battle is so great. I love Pete's betrayal of Ivan just being, like, just hamming it up and be like, ah, <laughs> you were poisoned. <laughs> like, it's so good. Um, Zach Sherwin goes nuts as Alexander. Mm-hmm. His whole verse is just fire, like, absolute fire. Yeah, um, he really, and then really handles the mic well. Lloyd's is, the, it's honestly one of the catchiest verses they put out. Like, it's it so. It really is good like that beat is fire comes in playing the flute or whatever it is <laughs> like busting prussia <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's just going nuts um and then you know the little joke about pompey was pretty funny too um what about me pompey <laughs> yeah um but uh, the great. yeah Catherine the great comes in and kills them all or not not literally but with her verse goes nuts mm-hmm. um and yeah it was just so good overall yeah this is a very 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 good one uh i agree s tier uh, i think it i think honestly it goes next to it yeah. goes next to the Russians. I'd agree. We got, we got the Russians next to the Russians. <laughs> um, okay. Um, here's what I call an attempt to remake what this one was, but not in a bad way. Yeah, Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton. Honestly, this one got a lot of hate, too, but I think this one was really good. Like, I think they yeah. nailed both of them. Um, From a comedy standpoint, I think this one's their funniest battle. Yeah, the jokes in this one were so good. The beat is fire in this mm-hmm. one. Um, mm-hmm. Like, everything Hillary says is great. Everything, like, Donald Trump goes ham in this one. Because, yeah. again, <laughs> like, they just, they nail that, like, rapper br- bravado that he's just, mm-hmm. like, just going off. Just over um, the top. And then Abraham coming back in. I know that's where a lot of people had problems with it, with, like, oh, why didn't they slap Hillary? But uh, I don't think it matters that much. I don't think yeah. it takes away from the battle at all. I think Not it's really good. Um, and yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. I think the jokes in this one are hilarious. The beat's phenomenal. Um, Hillary goes in, Trump goes in. Um, they, they both uh, are, are very like equal footing on how intense they are, mm-hmm. I think. Um, they're both also very obvious caricatures of what the actual people are, more so than, than uh, the Romney versus Barack one. Mm-hmm. Um, these guys are very much like, yeah, we're making fun of these two. Or we're yeah. putting a comedic spin on these two. Like, yeah. Lloyd's Lloyd's interpretation of, of Trump is just extremely tight eyes the whole time. His <laughs> mouth is just off his face, basically. Like, he's just... In the, 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 the orange fake tan is overboard more so than it already is kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And um, 
uh, Hillary, like who, the actor that played Hillary, is very like she's like young but playing this old woman, which is basically what Hillary is, but exaggerated. You know, they got the dab reference in there. They got a whole bunch of stuff. And I just I, this one's funny. This one's very funny. Um, does it deserve to be an S tier with the Barack versus Mitt Romney? I don't know. Nah, I I think it's a solid A tier. You know I think mean? so too. I just don't know where it would go. I think possibly under Austin Powers. Um, maybe a little lower. I'm yeah, I think I think that's fair. You think this is fair? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because looking at these, I don't know if some of these are really able to hold a candle. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think that's a good space. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Charles Darwin versus Ash Ketchum. Watching it again. Um. The first watch through, I was like, what What happened? <laughs> yeah. Watching it again and again and a few more times, I'm kind of like, okay, I see what they were going for, but this one was, I don't really think I have a better way to describe it other than cringy. Yeah, it just, man, this was one of the, like, people have wanted Ash in the battles for so long, and then yeah. we finally get it, and it's like, oh, man. Like, and like, there were some that? decent lines, like, like like harder than the wood that oak gave your mother like the, yeah, that, that that's a great good. one um, um but, i like the one from ash galapagos suck on these i thought yeah. that one was good <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it, it's it, they had good lines but then there was parts where they just stopped the whole battle and he was like this guy took so many years to study barnacle dick and it's like yeah i get the joke but like did did we need that and it's just mm-hmm. uh, uh i feel like it's very not good you know mm-hmm. yeah it's it's yeah it's 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 like maybe mid d tier <laughs> yeah it's, the, the beat was okay the the lines that had some gems but as an overall battle it's just it didn't live up to the expectations of what we really were expecting with an ash catcher metal yeah um it's just a matter of where to put it i feel like it might be able to go here yeah that's fine yeah okay stevie wonder versus wonder woman though this one was interesting. I mm-hmm. I thought it's so cool that they got T Pain in there. Mm-hmm. Like T Pain just seems like an awesome and person. Lily overall. Singh as well. Yeah, which is really fitting for the Wonder Woman part. Yeah, T Pain. That was that. That's one of those like you got Snoop Dogg, you got T Pain, you got Weird Al. Like that's one of those kind of picks. Yeah, and, that's and this so one, cool. This one is pretty good. Like the production value on this one is like really high. It's kind of wild. Yeah. All the different effects they're doing. Um, but like there were some great lines. Um, you know, he's like, you, you'll never know how dumb you look in that plane. <laughs> or like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, or like her line about him having like a bunch of kids with different mothers. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought the beat on this one was really good too. Like it's very yeah, like poppy and, and bouncy and it's really good. Yeah. Um, and when it's, uh, when Stevie Wonder is going, it's got like that, like that um, superstition style piano in it. Yeah. That, like piano synth going. I thought, I thought that was top of the line. Mm-hmm. I love that T-Pain didn't look at the camera at all except for, um, the one part where he's uh, he said something about uh, your f- I don't remember what the part he said, but he looked at the camera like a, it was like a really good time to look at the camera when you like jabbed at her. Yeah, I thought that was good. He was saying that like you know Wonder Woman is all about like independence and being strong, but then her first appearance is like about her running off with a guy. Yeah, you know? exactly. There you go. Which is a yeah, great that's line. Exactly too. what it was. Yeah, it's it, this whole this whole battle was was very um, fitting for the source material, fitting for the actors, and fitting for the. Um, whole idea. I thought it was really cool. So I, I definitely think it deserves A tier at the least. Oof, I don't know about A tier though. Really? I feel like it's like mid B tier at the at the most. I don't think it's that good. Yeah. Yeah, because like it's mm. it's good, but I I I would not compare it to anything in A tier. I don't think it has that same like replay value. L- uh, yeah, you know what? Looking at A tier, if you do it based off like replay value and based off of like just the whole general idea of the battles i guess i can see what you mean yeah so where in b tier would you say though like i would ones? i would put it above vader hitler one i think that's a good above place. vader hitler one yeah yeah okay yeah I, I agree with that that's a good place to put it mm-hmm. um so there's gonna be a little more scrolling in this one guys as you can see there's a lot of battles and not much left <laughs> <laughs> okay so Tony Hawk Wayne versus Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, Tony Hawk v. Wayne Gretzky. You want to oh go boy. ahead and start this one? Because I think so, you might have a different opinion than me. So, I like the idea of it because they said uh, in the in the behind the scenes they did it for um, like one of the, one of these like, kids that they know that really wanted this battle to happen. So I think that's really cool that they yeah. made it happen. 
Uh, but man, I did not like this one at all. Like, I thought it was very bad. Like, the, the beat's kind of weird. It's kind of an odd matchup. It's like two very uh, successful athletes in their respective sports that are kind of niche. Not niche sports. Mm-hmm. Obviously, hockey is huge. Um, but just, like, not at the forefront sports. Um, yeah. But it's just like, man, this one did not... Oh, I just did not think it was very good. Like, Tony Hawk's verse is kind of weird. Like, he's just like, spoiler alert, you're about to get traded. It's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this one was really bad, honestly. Yeah. Um, to me, I can see a lot of the reasoning as to why you don't think it's bad. I think the verses aren't the strongest. I don't think this is Zach Sherwin's strongest performance either. Um, but... I don't know. I liked the visual style and the beat for this one. The visuals in this one were really cool. I liked the like kind of effects they were going for in the background when Tony Hawk was skateboarding around and when Gretzky was doing his thing. There was all kinds of like hockey things moving and going on around the background. And they got that that iconic um, body checking with the guy going oh mm-hmm. across the screen. I thought that was really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. As much as I liked the battle as a whole, I also don't think it was very good. I, I'm not sure where to put it, though. That's the thing, because I don't think you want to put it higher than C. <laughs> no, I, I would put it, like, like high D tier, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I like the battle. I just don't think it's one of their best, either. Mm-hmm. So, I, I think high D. I think, actually, maybe the top of D. Yeah, that works. I think that works pretty well, because I, I think it was better than the RRs. Mm-hmm. And just everything else in D tier, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, Teddy Roosevelt versus Winston Churchill. Oh my goodness, this one is so good! This one's really, wow, really good. We've they... been waiting for a Teddy Roosevelt one ever since they started doing Lloyd with the Teddy Roosevelt news news updates. Mm-hmm. Man, they knocked this one out of the park. This was one of the one of the battles where it had so much hype and it just lived up to it like tenfold. Mm-hmm. Like, Lloyd is agree. so good as Teddy Roosevelt. He so, really is. He's got that boisterous attitude when he plays him. It's so good. It's amazing. Uh, Dan Bull did a great job as as Churchill as well. The beat on this one is so fire. It mm-hmm. is so good. Like, with the like piano and everything. Old-timey steampunky kind of vibe to it. Yeah, it's... Oh, my goodness. There's so many good lines in it. Um, yeah. You know, like... At least my parents didn't leave me while they were alive like yours did. Um, we all know you're at, back at home saying, like, thank God for Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, and, of course, you had to get the co- iconic, what's up, bitches, yeah. in there. And we got it, which was so good. And then also the um, the line where they put your head on a mountain. Um, but let's be honest, if you were in a band, you'd play the bass. I remember the whole exact line. <laughs> yeah, that, that was funny. That was and then great. it brought in the, um, Peter as, like, the actors that he played for those presidents. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was really good. Or those people are not rushing around like all of them are president yeah. um but uh yeah this one is and th- not to mention i think one of the things that goes really unseen and if you watch the behind the scenes for this one they really highlight it is the visuals towards the end when there's the lightning strikes yeah. and it kind of goes like old timey there's actual i'm pretty sure there's actual old world war ii footage in the background yeah they have like the silhouettes of the rough riders and the paratroopers yeah games. It's so cool. And like this, it's very, like, very cool. I feel like this battle perfectly represents like why we love ERB. Like it's exactly. just so good all around. It's yeah. very respective to the, the the source material on this one, and it does its own thing while also still feeling believable. Like I feel like I could see Winston Churchill and Theodore Roosevelt doing this kind of thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, but also still staying true to the comical aspect. So in that, in my opinion, it goes an S. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I think it might. I think it even goes here. Yeah, maybe even higher. What I think you, you think? can. I, I think you can make the case to put it, like, in between Einstein and Barack. Like, I think it's that good. Yeah, I think so too. You know, I think so too. Yeah, I, I really think that this battle is is very uh, unappreciated and more. It needs. It, it's appreciated, but I feel like it gets. It deserves a lot more appreciation. Yeah, definitely. Hundred percent. Okay, um, that leads us into the <laughs> sequel to uh, the the creator's rap battle is what I'll call these two little yep. saga they had. <laughs> um, this one was a lot better than the first one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I liked the aspect they were going for. I liked the flow they were going for with this one. Um, I liked that they made up in the end, which was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I, lo I loved the visuals of every uh, like every verse it would change to the background splitting between two of their characters or the same battle that they played I thought that was really cool mm -hmm. um, the beat was good um, it kind of felt like a this one didn't feel as weird timing as the other one did like this one felt appropriate when it released you know what I mean yeah you could tell they were getting kind of burnt out. You could tell that things were slowing down. And then they put this out saying, like, yeah, we're going to take a break, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I, th Which... I think it's for, for that purpose, it does a really good job. Yeah. Um, and there, there's some great lines. Like, I'm sorry about the way you played Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not <laughs> a cool way to play sorry. Batman. So I'm glad that they're like self-aware. Uh, but again, I think it, it kind of has the same flaws as the last one where it's like, it's it's cool to see it, but if you don't follow what's going on with them, it's just very confusing. And you're like, yeah, what are you ta what are they talking about? And like, do they really do these things? And it's like, mm -hmm. ah. So, I think it's like very C tier, you know. Yeah, like me it's too. it's very well made, but it just didn't really need to happen. But for what we yeah. got, they did it well, you know. Exactly, I agree. Um, I think probably maybe mid C tier. I'm feeling kind of like here ish in between these two, between yeah. Tesla and Wallace. That works. Okay. Ooh, okay. This one is actually one of my <laughs> personal favorites. Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg was an excellent season six teaser. Mm. I think this battle is very top of the line. They nailed the awkwardness of Mark Zuckerberg really well. Yeah. They also nailed the cockiness of Elon Musk really well. Mm -hmm. The lines in this one are hilarious. There are two lines that I think are the best lines in ERB. It's the um, you can I think it's you can sit back and face mask my musky ducks my musky Dutch taint or something like that, <laughs> and um, he like dances and that like whole dance and that flow of that line is hilarious to me. And then Mark Zuckerberg is the um, I've got one all your all your companies are incomplete. I've got one making me money incomplete. Yeah, or yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, that is so clever. <laughs> that is the most clever line in like all of the entirety of rap battle history. I love this battle way more than I probably should, but I think they really nailed both portrayals and I think the beat and the lines are phenomenal. Yeah, this was such a good like return to form, you know? I yeah. love how they uh they me ghost Zuckerberg <laughs> with his yeah. first good him all those ad libs. Um I love the line from um from Lloyd being like uh, dope smoking with Joe Rogan, don't slow motion my pace, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's so good. Like I think it's, I think it's a really good battle. Yeah, like the, the beat was really catchy. The visuals in this one were great. Um, mm -hmm. It felt very like current, but also like yeah. of importance. You know what I mean? Yeah, I completely um, agree. It was a very like current events battle that really felt like something that'll go down in history for a while. Yeah, and it, I think it nailed it. So I can, mm -hmm. I feel like it's a solid A tier. Yeah, me too. I completely agree. A tier. I think it's better than... I think it's top A tier. Ooh, I don't know about that. Really? I, I would probably say it's, like, above Lincoln and Chuck Norris. I think it's I think good, it's but I don't know if it's better than any of those. You know? That's not, that might be my bias talking. Because <laughs> <laughs> this one is... I really, really like this one. Yeah. Um, let, me, let me try to get rid of the bias for a second and look at the, the, the tiers, the way we have the tiers set up now. Um... Yeah, I, I, I think, I think, it, I think it can go here, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe even here. Maybe. Yeah, that's fine. I think here is good. I think it, I think, as much as I love Weird Al, I think it definitely beat this one out. I think these two nailed their lines a lot better than these two did. Mm -hmm. um, as in, like a from a, a, a source standpoint. Yeah. Okay. All right, then we've got the second battle, or technically the official start of season six, I believe. I believe so. Right. Yeah. Yeah, which is Freddy Krueger versus Wolverine. Yeah, this one was was interesting. It's a really cool matchup, and um, I like yeah. the beat on this one a lot. Mm -hmm. But also, I think the beat was the problem with this because the beat is good and it's dark and I think it fits. Yeah. But it's so slow that yes. they have to rap so slow, and then like if they're what what they're saying doesn't really hit, you like feel that mm -hmm. not that not presence. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, it just it's very. Very, it leaves you to think about the lines, and the lines in this one aren't the best. So mm -hmm. you really think about how, ooh, I could be better, or ooh, that didn't really work, or I'm not really quite sure what they're referencing. Yeah, exactly. And I think Wax did a great job as Freddy. 
Um, I, th- mm-hmm. I thought that was that was great. And all the visual the visuals they were doing with that. Yeah, the visuals in this one are phenomenal. Top yeah. notch. Yeah, it is very, very good impressive. In this one. Um, but yeah, I just I don't think it lived up to to what it could have been. Like I feel mm-hmm. like it's a very solid C tier. It's not bad by yeah. any means, um, but it left a lot to be desired. Yeah, it's very middle of the road rap battle. Mm-hmm. Um, where do you think in C tier do you think it'll go? Um, I'd put it. I'd put it, like, in between Tesla and Lloyd Pete, too. That's exactly where I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know if you saw me drag it there for a second, but that's exactly <laughs> where I was thinking. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's very... It exists. <laughs> <laughs> you know? We'll put it there. I think this is one of their best visually, but mm-hmm. just the whole battle itself wasn't the best. All right, Che Guevara versus Guy Fox. Yeah, this one is interesting. It is mm-hmm. really interesting um because i don't i didn't know a ton about either of these characters i had Same. seen a uh, view for vendetta uh, with guy fox yeah um, but yeah I, I thought it was pretty good like i didn't think it was amazing yeah. um but i thought the beat Same. was like pretty jumping you know i liked it um the guy yeah, who played the... che Gu- guerrera like killed it like he looks yeah, exactly like it was kind of wild yeah um, but you know it was it was solid yeah, I think this one is one of the battles uh, where you can really say, like, I learned a lot about that character. Mm-hmm. Or I learned a lot about <laughs> that person from the, from just the lines. Because they really nail uh, a lot of the, like, like Guy Fox talking to Che Guevara. Like, how do you feel about being one of the most iconic people of all time for capitalists when you were against that kind of thing? Mm-hmm. Um, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, and then the... the um, talking about how Guy Fox got, got uh, hanged was a really interesting topic as well and um, they really nailed a lot of the uh, what, they nailed a lot of the education standpoint on this one. Yeah. I feel like, like I said, this one really nails it when it comes to I don't know who these two are very well, now I kind of understand who they are. Yeah. Um, which was interesting. Definitely. Um, well, I think this one's a solid B, maybe A. I don't know A, but I'd, I'd put it like middle of B. Like I think yeah. it's very solid. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, where do you think it would go and be? Like, wh- where do you think it could tussle? Like, who do you think it could tussle with you? Honestly, looking at it now, I think in front of Shaka Zulu would be where it goes. Like, I don't, I don't think it's better than any of any of those. Yeah. You know? Okay. Okay. I think it's, I think it's good. Um, okay. <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Burger this one. King versus Ronald McDonald. If I'm not mistaken, this was a flash in the pan hip hop battles of today. Yeah, of nowadays their, or something. Of nowadays in their second <laughs> channel. Um, yeah. And they turned it into a full on ERB, which is also, this one's one of the weird ones that everyone requested for a long time. Yeah, this was super, super, super popular. Uh, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, I yeah. thought, I love like the costume design for Me for too. Burger King and for Ronald as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I thought they nailed that. Uh, the beat is banging in this one. Like mm-hmm. it's so mm-hmm. hard. Like I don't understand why they went so hard with this beat for this matchup. Um, I think the best part is Wendy though. She comes in and just crushes <laughs> it. It's like oh. she really does. So yeah, I think it's I think it's a very like close to top of B tier kind of battle. Like it's very good, yeah. but it's not one that I'm gonna. When I'm thinking of oh, what are the best? It's do- it doesn't come to mind. Yeah, know? I completely agree with that. Um, I think. I think very top. I think like top of B tier, like top row of B tier at least for mm-hmm. sure. Um, maybe here in between Columbus, not Columbus. I'm just up Shakespeare and uh, Miley. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is a good spot for it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, l- I love the line. Uh, like, show me two dudes old enough to be my daddies and some some like the corners of my meat patties. Like it goes yeah. hard. <laughs> <laughs> like that slaps. So. Yeah, Wendy really kills it. They were definitely setting it up for Wendy to come in and knock it out of the park. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that one was very good. Um, okay, so the comedians, I think you have a lot more experience with the comedians than I do. Yeah, um, I'm I'm not too familiar with Carlin or Pryor's work. Like, it's one of those things where I've been meaning to watch, go back and watch their old stand-up sets, but I never have. Yeah. Uh, but I know enough about them. But it's, I'm very, like... Eh, on this battle you know the concept mm-hmm. of it i love i think it's so cool that they did it um but man it's tough because it's like how do you how do you write rap battles for comedians it's like yeah. that's <laughs> that's got to be impossible but i think for what they're trying to do they did it pretty well um i think the highlight of this battle was easily um lloyd as robin williams i think he killed mm-hmm. that um and i think the person who played uh um 
Joan Rivers, I believe. Is that who it is? Yes. Uh, she did a fantastic job. Yeah. Um, but I just, mm, I don't know what it is. I think it was just lacking that oomph. You know what I mean? Yeah, I completely agree. I watched this one, and I noticed at the end of it that I had a straight face the whole time. Yeah, there was, which, there was no, like, lines that blew you away, which is what I would expect from a battle like yeah, this. Yeah, you know? with a comedian rap battle, like you said, it's hard to write a rap battle for comedians, but with a comedian rap battle, you I feel like you'd really expect, like, non-stop jokes. Like, maybe even not necessarily reusing their jokes, but repurposing their jokes. Like, some of their funniest ones would have been cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and... They had a lot of references to their to their material, from my understanding. I, I could really tell that with obviously Robin Williams. Uh, they really nailed a lot of his references. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't have much experience with the others, though. I think they spent too long on the Bill Cosby part. Yeah, that was um, definitely like they really overran that joke. <laughs> I yeah, like, oh. I think him just. I think the second somebody. I think the second he was like, "Did somebody put something in my pudding?" and then fell, I think that would have been fine. Mm-hmm. But they kept pulling back to it. Yeah, and I was like. I was like, oh, this is too much. And I also think they could have made that joke while also letting him rap. Yeah. That um, would have been really I understand why they got rid of him as soon as they did, but at the same time, I feel like he didn't really... I feel like it would have been better if he got some time to shine. Yeah. Because I could have seen him throwing some stuff around about, like, Fat Albert and all <laughs> kinds of stuff like that. But, yeah. Um, this one's very, like, I don't know. I feel like this one is, like, maybe low C or high D. Yeah, I was, I was, think, I was thinking, like, low C. Uh, probably. Yeah. I'd put it, like... I put it in between Jack the Ripper and Lance. I would say. Yeah, I think so too. I think that's a good spot for it. Mm-hmm. Jacques Cousteau versus Steve Irwin. Man, this one is this one is interesting as well. I think mm-hmm. I so I have no, I still have no idea who Jacques Cousteau is. If I'm being yeah, honest, <laughs> no clue. Um, I know he's some kind of animal. Uh, conservationist there's something along those lines yeah and according to the rap battle he might have invented the scuba gear yeah i'm um, not sure <laughs> but i i think the highlight of this battle is definitely lloyd as a uh, as steve it like it's oh it's God, so yeah. good like it's surprisingly I, I completely. good completely you know? i feel like they had to have purposely done that because steve Irwin is so beloved you could have put him up with anybody and they would have set it up where he would have won you know what i mean oh yeah definitely and like and that's that's what I we think... want to see Exactly, and I think this came at a time where it wasn't too late, but wasn't too soon either. Yeah. Um, I think if they did this maybe a few years earlier and started it with the, I heard you died from the animal that kids pet at the aquarium would not have gone over nearly as well no. as it did in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. But uh, I, I, this one's good from a Steve Irwin standpoint, but Jacques Cousteau, I don't know, I just... I don't know if it's because we don't know much about him that I just really didn't like his parts, or if it's because they purposely made him worse to sh- make Steve Irwin shine. I don't know what the whole... I, I don't know how I feel about this one. It was good, yeah. but I think Jacques Cousteau is kind of holding it back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree. Um, I think it's probably C-tier, because it's just kind yeah. of... It's not bad, you know, but it's not yeah, that great. Yeah, I, I liked a lot of the way they handled things, like with Steve Irwin examining Jacques Cousteau. That was yeah. really funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do love the line by Steve saying... Um, like, uh, I'm cleaning you up like a Jacques Custodian. <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> oh, that's good. So, yeah, I love that the, his first entrance, they, like, zoomed into him wrapping between his own legs, which is hilarious to me. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just like, yeah, there's his legs. <laughs> Got to see Lloyd's legs a little bit, which is always a good treat, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think C tier for sure. Where, though? I don't know. I... Mm... Hmm. I would say, I would say, in between Tesla and Billy, I think that's a good place to put it. I think it's pretty good, but it's just not. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Okay, Mother Teresa versus Sigmund Freud. Ah, so here's mm. here's the thing with this one. I really don't know where to put it because there's some things I really like and there's some things I really don't like. Mm-hmm. Like I love the beat on this one the beat yeah. is so good i don't mm-hmm. understand like how good it is it's crazy yeah they killed it with the beat on this one and i think the actress who plays mother Teresa is like insane like she's yeah. so good it's crazy she nailed it she killed it the costume for mother Teresa. i thought it the first watch so i swear to god they got an old lady to play her <laughs> no. like i thought that was genuinely an old lady mm-hmm. and like, it's so wild and even pete looks a lot like sigmund for it too yeah um so it's just they they nailed a lot with this but the problem for me is that it's just and there were some good lines but it just didn't it didn't feel very memorable to me you know 
Like, yeah. And I, me, me personally, I have a problem when I really dislike it when the rappers in this series just talk about themselves the whole time. Because again, it, it takes away from the battle rap if you're just mm -hmm. like bragging about what you do or whatever it is. Um, but that's Sigmund Freud's whole character, so of that's course exactly they have to do his it. character. Yeah. So it's like, mm, mm, like I just I really don't know what to do with it. I don't either. Um, this one, yeah, there's a, like you were saying, there's some hit or miss stuff, but there's also just like a very pumped up feel to this battle. Like this one feels really really strong you know what i mean yeah like i feel like i can really get into this like i feel like i can take either of their sides like they're both jo throwing jabs at each other really well and I don't, I don't know man i feel like from from how i feel watching this one i feel like i could go back and watch this one not as much as some others so i'm thinking maybe high b low a hmm. I'm, I, I think it's I definitely know. b tier i just don't know where to put yeah. it i don't know either i let, let's <laughs> take a look real quick we'll, we'll have a little bit of, of free-ended discussion here Let's see. Do you think, do you think this one is better than Mr. T versus Mr. Rogers? No. You don't think this one's better than Mr. T? Do you think it's better than Muhammad <laughs> Ali versus? Um, do you think it's better than that one? Yeah, I think that's where it goes. <laughs> so you think it goes here? It didn't take long. Only that. <laughs> Pretty easy. Yeah. 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 Um, I'd agree. I'd agree. I think Mr. T versus Mr. Rogers really is able to beat this one out a lot. Yeah. Um, but I think it, I definitely think compared to the rest of these ones, it's a lot better. Mm -hmm. And compared to the rest of the down here as well. Um, okay. Uh, we've actually got about four left. Two of them aren't being shown. We recorded this or after the, if you guys pay attention to ERB2 or on the Patreon, after the unreleased Henry VIII versus Hillary Clinton battle was released. Um, we'll probably talk about that one in a second here. But we are about done here, and the uh, very last one, which was Thanos versus Oppenheimer, is not on the tier list site, but we'll put it in editing somewhere, maybe. Um, but uh, back to it. Uh, this is Vlad the Impaler versus Dracula, right? Yeah, this one was uh, was interesting. It was weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the beat on it. The beat fits super well mm -hmm. with that dark, like, pulsing beat, for lack of a better term. Yeah. Um, but man, this was so one-sided. <laughs> like, like Vlad <laughs> absolutely destroyed him, and it makes sense because I mean, Dracula is based off of Vlad the Impaler. Um, but and then <laughs> Pete's betrayal of of Dracula, a very mixed on. I'm like, I, I don't know what to do with this uh, because I remember they were saying in the behind the scenes that they constantly have the struggle of do we go all out on these accents and, and characterizations and like risk it being for lack of a better term, cringy, or do we just yeah. not even try and then people can't make fun of it because they weren't trying? So I respect yeah. him for going for it, but it did not land at all, at least for mm -hmm. me. Um, so I feel like, again, it's it's another C tier. Like I don't think it's bad, yeah. but it's just very one-sided, and the Dracula was kind of weird. you know? Yeah, I, I, I completely agree with every point you said. This one, I can't, I can't rewatch this one too many times. Yeah. Like, I, I've watched it, I think, maybe three times now, and I'm kind of done with it. Yep. So, I think C-tier, I agree. Um, I, I, I do think it's better than the comedians, though. Yeah, I think that's a good place to put it. I think it, I think it goes here. It could even go here. Uh, sure. You think, it, you think it's going to go here? Yeah, I think that beat, like, carries it a lot, yeah. <laughs> honestly. Okay. Gotta love okay. the uh, gotta love the Dracula ASMR going on in that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they have to hit all genres of interest. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Um, here we go. One of the most requested rap battles. They finally did it. Probably more requested than a lot of the other ones that have been more requested. Joker versus Pennywise. Dude, this one is amazing. Did like, they live up to the hype? Oh my god, they crushed it with this one. Yeah. They crushed it. Like, the costumes for both of them were amazing. Their the portrayals, portrayals of both, both of them were insane. I This is a better Joker than we got in Suicide Squad. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's crazy. Honestly. Like, they're literally, haha. But, like, the lines in this one are so good. The beat for this mm -hmm. one is great. They have that, like, little circusy kind of beat going on. Yeah. Um, man, like, there's so many good lines. Like, uh, this battle's like poker. The Joker is useless. Yeah. Um, I love the, uh, that's why they cast a phoenix to play me. Yeah. If it asks Robin really if I drop bars, which is, mm -hmm. oh, it's so good. Um, I man. think it's, it's Lloyd who played Pennywise, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Lloyd 
killed it with Pennywise. <laughs> oh my god. They, you could have told me that that was the actor from the It movies, the more recent ones. I would have believed you. Yeah, it's it's crazy they, how good they did. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I don't know... I don't know who kicked their butts in the motivation gear, but goddamn, this battle is the best, I think, out of season six. Oh, yeah, and it's not even close. Like, this one mm. is just, oh, it's so good, man. It's so this good. This one, the absolutely top-notch. The visuals, the beat, the reference material, the portrayals. This is one of their best performances, hands down, and that's why I think it was in this gear. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think you can, um, I think you could probably... I would say it's above Vader Hitler 2 in between I think so the too. greats. I think that's a good place to I think to go so too. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent battle. Okay, so like I said, we don't have any more to click on down here. Uh, kind of breaking the fourth wall a little bit. Um, there's no more to click on down here, but we are going to talk about Oppenheimer versus Thanos. I'm going to try to organize this in a way where you can kind of see everything in the tiers. Okay, F tier doesn't really matter. You guys know what's down there. <laughs> um, and you can kind of see the underneath th- thumbnails there, so that works. But, um... What do you think about Thanos versus Oppenheimer? Oh, man. So, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, obviously we all know Thanos. So, such an iconic villain at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, but like we were talking about earlier, it is so hard to take a cartoon character and make it live action unless you have a bajillion dollar budget like Marvel does. Like Marvel does, um, yeah. So, man, that, that yeah. Thanos is rough. Like, it, Yeah, I think... I think that's... I don't want to say this because I love ERB, but I think that's one of the worst images of Thanos on the internet. It's, it's like not great. one of the worst possible ones you could have. <laughs> Incredibly tough look for my guys at ERB. Yeah, I think I think they should have cast someone other than Lloyd to play Thanos. Yeah, it was... His body type does not fit him at all. Yeah. And then the lines in this one were just so weird... Um, like most of the most of the things Thanos said just didn't really work. The voice that they did for him was like kind of weird because Josh Brolin, who plays Thanos, he, he's just using his normal voice. It's, he doesn't have mm-hmm. that like um, that like filter on it, so that yeah. threw me off. Um, you know, he was saying, "I'm the showstopper," and then he's like dancing really weirdly. I'm like, <laughs> "What is this?" <laughs> like, oh, that Thanos was bad. But yeah. but I do think they nailed Oppenheimer. I think yes. he carries this battle on his back. Oh, 100%. I, yeah, 100%. Like, man, uh, yep. Pete did a great job there. We were talking about one-sided battles a lot, and um, I think this is... I think that we, we, We've said this a few times now, but I genuinely 100% think this is the most one-sided battle out of every single rap battle. Yeah, it's... I, just from... Not even from a, a lyric standpoint, but from a, a, an actor standpoint, from a costume standpoint... I think this is 150% the worst, or not the worst, but the most one-sided battle. Yeah, and then that's the thing, though. That's why I'm, like, I'm so disappointed with this one. Because even though Oppenheimer had some great stuff, um, like, after hearing you, I am become deaf. <laughs> like, yeah. I think that's great. But, um, oh, man, he, there was even some weird lines, like, something, we're in the end game now, Tinky Winky, I'm going to do you like <laughs> Ant-Man. All up in your stinky. All up in your stinky. <laughs> like, oh, oh, it hurt. It hurt. So That was like one of the end lines, too. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? Like, it's so... I feel like it's not F tier solely because of Oppenheimer and the beat and the visuals on this one are great. Yeah. Um, But I think it's like bottom of D tier. Like, it I is think so too. It is rough. I think it's... I don't want to break up Superman and, and, and Batman, but I think... I think it goes in between these two. I'm going to make a little space for the editing. You can put it in there, or one of us can. But uh, I think it goes like there. Yeah, it's it's not great. No, not at all. Um, okay, and I do want to talk about the unreleased that is now released, Henry VIII versus Hillary Clinton. Yeah, uh, I thought this one was, was pretty poor, honestly. Yeah. I see why mm-hmm. it wasn't released. Yeah, like, me too. It's not yeah. very good. <laughs> Especially now that we have a battle with Hillary where she does a great job, that it's like mm-hmm. looking. It's not that they did a like terrible job. It's just, especially it now how far ERB's come since then. Yeah, it wasn't up to snuff even for season two. Yeah, like season two had some great ones, and, and this would that would have just tanked a lot of it. So I'm very mm-hmm. glad they didn't put it out. But yeah. I mean, it was it was an interesting matchup, and I think Shay Carl did a good job. Um, yeah, but. Mm, I, I, if if we had to put it in a tier list, I'd I'd say it's F tier, honestly. I completely agree. 
I think it, I think it goes in F tier. I think it I think it might be the top of F tier though. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make a little space so you can put it there. Or I can put it there. <laughs> um, top of F tier. I think it'll I keep stop flipping. I think it's gonna go there. Um, but uh, yeah, I think. I think that's everything. There's yeah. no more rap battles. We that's made it. all of them so far. We made it. I know we split into two parts. Uh, if you guys enjoyed part one, enjoyed part two, definitely let us know in the comments. Um, we'll be back, of course, with some more tier lists. But uh, I think this is I think this is pretty good. Let's do a quick scroll through. Kind of look at the... Uh, we're using tiermaker.com. Look at the... Uh, final results. Tier list. The final results. This is, uh, this is our opinion. This is our combination opinion of every single rap battle of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> of the history. <laughs> of the history. <laughs> yeah. Um, go ahead and let us know what you guys think. If you'd like to make your own tier list, by all means, go ahead and do so and tag us on Twitter. You can either tag the uh, tier, the tier Mania account or both of our main accounts. We'd love to see them. Um, we'd love to hear your guys' comments. We'd love to hear your guys' opinions. But yeah, I think, I think that's going to be it for us. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Strong Targaryen. I've been Dark Zekrom 1998. And we'll catch and you we'll next catch time. We'll catch you guys later. <laughs> <laughs>